I said earlier that ultimate living requires ultimate giving. King Jesus, the Lord and Savior Jesus, he gave to us his perfect life. Yes, Jesus gave because life requires giving. They didn't have to persuade him to lay his arms down on the cross. He surrendered to it. Can we give Christ our attention right now? Can we give ourselves to his wisdom? Give Jesus your affection right now as we give God our worship in this obedience and take the bread and the juice. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, starting at verse 23. For I received from the Lord himself that which I passed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and he said, this is my body, which is offered as a sacrifice for you. Do this in affectionate remembrance of me. Praise God. Jesus didn't leave anything out in purchasing, redeeming us for life. Galatians 3.13 says, he's redeemed us from the curse, but it's for the blessing. He redeemed you from the curse for the blessed life, the ultimate living life. Let's honor Jesus right now and take this bread representing his broken body. And in the same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant ratified and established in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in affectionate remembrance of me. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are symbolically proclaiming the fact of the Lord's death until he comes again. Once again, we get to share in the cup this juice representing the shed blood of Jesus. And the word says, when we just obey him in this by faith, we connect our faith and obey him in taking this cup. It says that we, we affectionately call him to remembrance. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's the least we can do. It's so easy to do, but it's our obedience. Jesus, we honor you right now. We honor you and take this cup knowing that your blood was shed for us to redeem us from the curse. Praise God, praise God. Third John 2, remember it says, Beloved, I wish that you would prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. Jesus paid the full price, no discount, for you and for me to be healed, to receive that good health that 3 John 2 speaks of. Complete that bridge of faith right now and place all of your trust in Jesus. Give God your confidence, your trust. Give God the honor of your full belief. If you need a healing right now in your body, in your mind, in your soul, right now, in the name of Jesus, I call you delivered and healed. According to God's promises, according to his will, in Jesus' name, be set free from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, be delivered and be made entirely whole to the glory of God. Amen.